each kidney is made up of 1 million tubular structural and functional units called as the nephrons. So nephrons are the structural and functional units of kidney. And each nephron, again, it is divided into two parts. That is the glomerulus and the renal tubule. This cup-like structure is called as glomerulus and this tube-like structure is called as the renal tubule. So the structural and functional unit of a kidney is the nephron. And again, the nephron is divided into a num two structures, namely the glomerulus and the renal tubule. What is this glomerulus? It is nothing but a tuft of capillaries, a bunch of capillaries formed by the efferent arteriole. We can see the efferent arteriole. Arteriole is nothing but a branch of the renal artery. Artery, we know it is a branch, a blood vessel, which carries the blood from the heart to the tissues. Okay. So the renal artery, that is the artery which enters into the kidneys called as a renal artery. And one fine branch of the renal artery is called as the efferent arteriole. And this efferent blood from the glomerulus, so the efferent arteriole, it carries blood into the tuft of capillaries called as glomerulus and the blood from the glomerulus is carried out by another arteriole which is called as the efferent arteriole. So that's the difference between afferent and efferent. Afferent arteriole, it carries blood into the glomerulus and efferent arteriole, it carries blood away from the glomerulus. Next is about the renal tubule. It begins with a double-walled cup-like structure. This cup-like structure which encloses the glomerulus is called as the Bowman's capsule. And this Bowman's capsule is the region from which the second part of the nephron, that is the renal tubule, begins. So this glomerulus plus the Bowman's capsule, this region, is called as the renal corpuscle or it is called as the malphigian body. So these two together. That is the first part is the glomerulus and second is the initial part of the renal tubule that is a Bowman's capsule which is made up of a double walled cup like structure. We can see two walls one and two. Okay, this cup like structure is called as the Bowman's capsule. So Bowman's capsule plus glomerulus is called as a renal corpuscle or it is called as the malphigian body. The Bowman's capsule which is the initial part of the a renal tubule continues to form the PCT, that is the proximal convoluted tubule. It goes down to form a pin shaped uh, bend uh, U-shaped tube, which is called as a Henley's loop. And this Henley's loop is divided into the descending limb and the ascending limb. You can see this is the loop of Henley or the Henley's loop, which is having a descending limb and an ascending limb. It continues to the distant distal convoluted tubule. So these are the parts of the renal tubule. What is the first one? The Bowman's capsule, then the PCT, there's a proximal convoluted tubule, followed by the Henley's loop and the DCT. The DCT of many nephrons, many nephrons DCT, they open into a tubular structure. This is called as a collecting duct. We can see these are the openings to which the DCT from other nephrons comes and joins. So the DCTs of many nephrons, they join to a tubular structure which is called as a collecting duct. The DCT of many nephrons open into the collecting duct. The collecting duct extends from the cortex to the inner part of the medulla. We can see this is a cortical region. This is a cortical region of the kidney and this is a medullary part of the kidney. And we can see which are the parts which is embedded in the uh, medulla. It is a loop of Henley and the collecting duct. So the collecting duct, it extends from the cortical region and it, it uh, is going into the medullary region. And they converge, many of them, they converge and open into the renal pelvis. That is the projection of the hilum and uh, through the medullary pyramids. So it is traversing through the medullary pyramids. The different convoluted tubules extend from the cortex region and uh, it moves into the medullary region through the medullary pyramids. Okay, And uh, they reach the calluses. And the malphigian body, the PCT and DCT, that is these parts, the TCT, DCT, PCT and the malphigian body, that is a glomerulus plus Bowman's capsule, they are embedded in the cortical region, that is the renal cortex. And loop of Henle also dips into the medulla. 
the efferent arteriole which is emerging from the glomerulus that is the efferent arteriole that is the blood vessel artery branch of the artery which carries the blood out of the glomerulus which is enclosed inside the bowman's capsule the efferent arteriole is which is emerging from the glomerulus it forms a fine capillary network this is a capillary network we can see this is called as a peritubular capillaries okay and it is forming around the renal tubule and of uh, these peritubular capillaries one uh, minute vessel of this network it runs parallel along the henley's loop and this is called as the vasa recta it forms a u shaped thin blood vessel okay so once again i'll repeat the efferent arteriole which is going out of the glomerulus it again divides to form a network of capillary and this capillary is called as a peritubular capillaries and one of these peritubular capillaries it runs down the vasa recta to form a u shaped blood vessel okay and this is called as a vasa recta there are two types of nephrons namely the cortical nephrons and juxta medullary nephrons of which abundant type of um the nephron is the cortical nephron which constitute about 85% and uh, juxta medullary nephron constitutes only 50 15% what is the difference in the case of cortical nephron the henley's loop is short and extends only very little into the medullary region we can see the length of the henley's loop which extends into the medullary region is very short okay and vasa recta is absent or it is highly reduced in the case of cortical nephron then about uh, juxta medullary nephron as in the picture we can see the henley's loop is very long and it runs deep into the medulla and the vasa recta is present that is a difference between the two type of nephrons the cortical nephrons and the juxta medullary nephron what is it in the case of cortical nephron the henley's loop is short okay and it does does not extend much into the medulla and the presence of vasa recta is either absent or it is very small okay it is reduced whereas in the case of juxta medullary nephron the henley's loop is very long and ex it extends deep into the medulla and the vasa recta is present so dear children in this module we learned about the internal structure of kidney we learned that the nephron is a structural and functional unit of the kidney and we learned about its two parts that is the glomerulus and the renal tubule thank you